Hey everyone, in our last video, we went over the proper technique for inserting T's into the tree. And in this one, we're gonna go over the actual injection process. So a couple things we're gonna wanna go over here. So before you start pressurizing the system, what you wanna make sure is that this valve to the main bottle is on. And then over here, you have a pressure release valve that hits at 60 PSI, which you shouldn't have to worry about because that's way higher than you'll ever be pressurizing the system. And then up here you have your standard Schrader valve uh, attachment for any regular bike pump. And then you're gonna wanna go to the T on the back side of the tree and turn that on. And that'll help distribute the product through the lines while you're priming it to make sure you're getting even distribution throughout the whole tree. Now you're ready to start pressurizing the system. So you're gonna wanna hook up your Schrader valve. You wanna pump that to about 15 to 25 PSI. See the product starting to go through the lines. And now you can start opening up the rest of the lines, getting the product into the tree. Once you get all the T's opened up, you may want to repressurize the system. You can go up to 35 PSI if you need to. You can see, even as I bring the pressure back up to 25 to 30 PSI, the product is still moving evenly through the harness, ensuring equal distribution throughout the tree. Usually the tree takes it up pretty quick. You can see from this one that it's already pushing out air from the back here. Uh, time for trees depends on a couple of factors, soil moisture, what the weather's been like, and how large the tree is. So as you start to see some of these T's uh, empty out, you can close off those valves and that'll redistribute some pressure into the other ones to ensure that you get even distribution throughout the whole tree. Now once your tree has taken up all the product and all the T's are off, before you remove them you're going to want to release any remaining pressure that's in the bottle. Once that's good, you disconnect the quick connect and you remove the T's the same way that you put them in. Quarter turn and pull out. You can see the product staying in, no need for plugs. There may be a little bit of residual product left in the lines. The amount that this equals out to is not going to make a huge difference on your treatment. When all your T's are taken out of the tree, you're ready to pack up and move on to the next tree. If you've had any questions on any of these series, feel free to call our solution center or your local Rainbow Territory manager or consult the Q-Connect manual that goes over this whole process in detail. Thank you.